Yes, Harry, good evening. Yeah, it's a bit of a complicated story. It's actually to connect Queensbury with Halifax, so that's the idea. It's hard to imagine, isn't it, that, in fact, up until the 1950s, there would have been trains coming in and out of the tunnel which is behind me. And the plan is to open that up again as a transport link for cyclists and for walkers. Now, there's a slight fly in the ointment. The tunnel currently is managed by Highways England, and they've put in a planning application to Bradford Council to block the tunnel up. Now, people say that's a waste of money because it could cost around £5 million, when well, you could, in fact, spend maybe £7 million and open it up to cyclists and walkers. And there's a big campaign, and Nora is here. Nora, you are part of the campaign. Uh, it's going very well, isn't it? You've got a lot of support for this. We've got a lot of public support. We have over 3,200 objections to Highways England's planning application so far. Why do you want it open? It is a fantastic piece of Victorian heritage. It connects two major towns in Yorkshire, Bradford and Halifax, and it could benefit the local economy through tourism, through sporting events, through all kinds of cultural events. It opens up a beautiful bit of our countryside to children from inner city areas who badly need to get out and have adventure, get on their bikes, get healthy outdoor exercise. Now we know there is support growing. There's a little twist to this as well because Bradford Council, who will hear that planning application from Highways England, have actually said that they're backing this campaign as well. And so is the MP for Halifax, Holly Lynch. And I asked her if she was convinced it was a good idea. I am convinced. I've gone away, I've done the research. I was worried about those costs that you've mentioned but actually because we are looking at now ploughing five million plus into just filling it in with concrete, we're not talking about that much more money to really make this something that everybody could be proud of, that contributes to showcasing the brilliant heritage that we've got, Shibden Hall, the Peace Hall, the Alhambra, Saltair, we want all of that to be part of showcasing our heritage and Queensbury Tunnel could add to that mix. It must be a big boost, Nora, for you to have Holly Lynch on your side with this. Holly Lynch is brilliant. She really understands the vision. She really gets the idea of the heritage value of the, of the tunnel and understands the concept of the extended greenway. Can you really see a time when this is open, though? Because it's a dream at the moment. Can it happen? It's, it's, not, a, it's not a pipe dream at all. It really has economic potential value, uh, known social value, known health value. It's something which we really do need to invest in. Thank you very much. Let's talk to the Queensbury Queens and various other people who've gathered here who would possibly be using this. Hello, what's your name? My name's Pat. Pat, you really want this open, don't you? Tell I me why. definitely want it open. It's an absolutely amazing structure. Uh, people lost their lives building it. It's a safe environment for everybody to cycle and walk through. Uh, we could have cafes and cakes inside, which is what the Queensbury Queens love. So it could be, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so it could be a real attraction, couldn't it? <laughs> yeah. And, I mean, as someone who runs, I mean, it's a safe way to do it, isn't it? Absolutely, yeah. Obviously, there's a lot of country roads around here. Um, very few of them have pavements, so it would be a, a wonderful, safe environment to run in and a little bit flatter than some of the hills around Queensbury. And we've got Erin here. Hello, Erin. Now, you've got a message for Highways England, haven't you? What would that be? That they need to go back to school to learn some maths. Right, oh, well, there we are. That's telling them, isn't it? Well, here, you know, you can't really feel the sunshine and how hot it is, but just a few hundred yards along there, it's scorching hot. So uh, I think that means, possibly, there's some good weather on the way. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, do you want to link the programme as well, Ian? He wants it straight into Abbey, then. <laughs> yeah, none of you. Straight to me, thank you very much. 